Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be a documentary. Um, I did test positive of coronavirus. Um, I think it was Wednesday, December 22nd. Um, this is just going to be, you know, a day by day um, symptoms timeline thing. Um, I hope you guys will enjoy this little documentary of mine and how I survived COVID and how it affected me as a 23 year old as a 23 year old young girl um yeah stay tuned hi guys and welcome back to my channel um today i decided to do a video for you guys i know i'm looking rough and i know that my hair literally looks all crazy um Actually, let me put my phone down here just so I can talk to you guys. Okay, so there we go. All right, so um, I have been having, um, I just want to tell you guys a little story. Um, I have been having symptoms since last Wednesday. Today is the 23rd, no, the 22nd. And um, I've been having symptoms since last Wednesday. Um, I think it was the 12th or the 3rd. Um, my first symptoms was um, I've had um, muscle aches. Um, it's been severe, severe, severe muscle aches. Um, and I would take a Tylenol and it wouldn't work. That's how severe my pain or my muscle aches was. I would take an ibuprofen. I think I started ibuprofen maybe like the day after and it actually started to work. Um, I honestly, at that point, I thought like, you know, I texted my sister. I was like, you know what? I'm having this, this, that. I called my doctor. They were like, oh, you should get tested. But honestly, I didn't because, you know, I thought that it was my period coming and I thought it was just a little cold. Um, I also live with my mom. So I, I, you know, I just was trying to rebuke it and wasn't trying to say that I had COVID-19. But as the day started to go by, um, I start to think to myself and I was like, you know what, I do work in a pharmacy, I do work with people, I do handle money, I do, you know, I work in a pharmacy, I work high risk pharmacy, so I work in a high risk pharmacy. So I was just like, you know what, it is time to get tested and I will get tested. So I did and I came out, I came out positive. Um, I have the papers right here. Um, how I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay, you know, it's just, it's just very, very, um, it's, it's very concerning, especially when you live with other people, and, you know, that are high risk, um, especially my mom, you know, this was something that I wasn't expecting, and I didn't want anyone around me to get, especially, you know, since, you know, I work at, I work, and it's just very emotional for me, because, I honestly didn't think that I would have it and it is serious because you know people are dying out there and you you don't even know yourself if you'll even be able to live especially you know I'm 23 and you know there's people around you are 80 years old and you know they are high risk and they could die so it's just very scary and um, right now I'm doing okay I just hope and pray and I ask you guys for prayers that I do come out okay and um, for my mom and everyone around me that they will be okay. Um, right now at the moment I am in front of Fast Track. I have not went home yet. I am a control freak. I do not want to go back to my mom's house. I don't want to go near anyone. I don't want to get anyone sick. I'm literally just sitting in my car. I don't want to get anyone sick. So I am honestly, I just did a pickup order at my job at Walgreens and they're going to put the all the stuff in the drive-thru to get me I got like Tylenol I got um, hand wipes or like disinfecting wipes I got toilet tissue toilet paper and because you know you want to use your own toilet paper when you have this virus or any type of virus you don't want to get anyone sick so I did that and um, yeah so right now I'm actually gonna be going to Walgreens and then I'll let you guys know what's going on with me afterwards hey guys it's me angelina and i'm back at it again with another clip so i'm just going to be doing little clips um from today's the 23rd no what's today 
I got tested positive yesterday, the 22nd. Today's the 23rd. And um, I'm just going to do little clips as to like my following, like when I start getting better and stuff like that. I don't, I'm not going to post a video as soon as like possible because I, I haven't told everyone yet that I am positive of COVID-19. But I am um, just doing the little clips right now. So... I'm doing fine today. Um, I woke up with a headache and my throat is like clearing up a little bit. Like yesterday it was very, very bad. Like it was so dry. I kept drinking water. I drank like three of these last night. And then right now I'm just like flushing my body with just a lot of water. So I'm doing that. And then I drink, I drink a Tylenol. I took this, it's 500 milligrams. I took one to take away the headache and it kind of took it away. I took like a little nap. I've been so tired. I'm normally always tired though. So it's just weird. It's just, you could just feel in your body that it's like drained. Like as I'm walking, like, like literally, I just know that it's just best to just stay in bed. So, um, I am in quarantine. Um... I am at my dad's house right now. I've been sleeping in this room here. Um, I ate I ate um a ham and cheese sandwich this morning, and um, what else? Oh, one thing I've noticed is that I cannot smell. Literally. I do not smell at all. I cannot, I can't even smell what this room smells like, literally. Like, like I could breathe, but it's just like, I can't smell it when I breathe. Like, it's just like, it's just like my sinus. Like, I could just, I just know that something is wrong because I could just feel this right here. And it's just like, uh, like it's killing me. So, yeah. So... This is how I'm feeling today. Um, yesterday, I know that I recorded, I started to record. I didn't want to post too much, you know, like on me driving or, you know, me going to Walgreens and picking up the Tylenol and the wipes and stuff like that. Um, because I didn't want to give that view that I'm outside because which I... I wasn't I just had to pick up the things that I needed to go home with um so yesterday I just I literally just came back here um no one's in the house right now my dad is at his friend's house so it's just me in the house and I've been stuck in this room here and I just been trying to stay positive and I've been praying to God you know hoping and praying that you know it doesn't escalate because you know they say that when you have a coronavirus, like it could be mild and then it could get worse within like like a week or whatever. So I'm just praying, you know, I have a lot of hope that this is gonna pass and I know that's gonna pass and that's just that's just how it is. I've been drinking my anxiety meds. They didn't give me anything to take, like any antibiotics, because I was told that it's like a it's not a bacteria, it's not like an infection, it's more like of a virus. So there's nothing really to cure it. Just been by drinking a lots of fluids and you know, having a night a balanced diet. Like, you know, eating and stuff like that and getting all the nutrients there is to fight it. Um I do take multivitamins as well. So, um, you know, um yeah so as of right now everything is fine um i just thought that i'd keep you guys posted and i'll be doing more clips hey guys and welcome back to my channel um it's angelina of course um this is going to be my third day of being tested positive of coronavirus um, right now, I'm just in my in the room that I've been staying in. Obviously, I think I told you before that I've been staying in my dad's house. Um, my dad did get home, so he is in the other room. Um, 
I'm here in the room that I'm staying in. Um, I woke up okay. Um, I do have a little headache right now. I did eat. He did make me um, ham and cheese um, sandwich. I didn't really finish it because... That's how much I ate. I didn't really finish it because I started to get a little nauseous. So, um, I did get enough food in my system and I did drink some water because, you know, water has been helping me a lot lately. Um, I do take medicine for my anxiety and I took that as well. Um, I am thinking about taking this Tylenol being that the headache is starting to come in. Um, I also... I also took my vitamins. This is what I always take every single day. Um, yeah, so I've been doing all right as the day has been going by. Um, today is Christmas Eve and I was actually hoping to, you know, spend it, you know, with my family. Um, but then again, as the as the virus is going around and it's spreading really bad, especially being that I live in New York, um, it's getting really, really bad. The the um, the cases are going really, 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 really high. Like the day that I tested positive, I think we had ten thousand nine hundred and something cases. I'm not sure. Or no, it was reported cases. So that was like people that got tested or whatever but I think there was about 203 or 303 was something around that range that was positive the day that I was positive so yeah it's getting really really bad um where I live in the county that I live um so yeah right now um I'm starting to feel better and better and better as the days go by um, the symptoms are lasting with a headache, so I've been getting lots and lots of headaches. I can't really smell anything, like, I could, like, if I could, like, like, put it close to my nose, but it's, it's not like I could smell how I used to smell. So hopefully it comes back. I could taste, um... Sorry. Um, I could taste, um, whenever I would use the bathroom, I would use, like, these flip-flops so I don't step, like, and contaminate my dad's tub. Um, I do walk around with either these, these little wipes or these Lysol wipes, and whenever I would open up the door or use the bathroom I would literally like hold the wipe and like turn the knob with the with the wipe just so that I don't contaminate I do wash my hands a lot with any bacterial soap yeah so I do hold the wipe and I do turn the knob and do every do that so I don't contaminate my dad so I will be back to let you guys know how I'm doing guys and welcome back to my channel um it is three days since i tested positive of coronavirus and um it's actually christmas today it is christmas day today um i had a very 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 long day today i was on like the video chat with my family and i saw my uncles i saw my mom my sister my cousins so it was a very nice time. I ate a lot today. When I woke up, I woke up with a headache. Um, I woke up with a headache and lately I've been waking up with headaches lately, but the most thing that's been helping me is the Tylenol. Um, I take the acetaminophen 500 milligrams, which has been helping me. Um, which is this right here. Um, it's the pain relief. Really, it's the Walgreens brand. I mean, it works for me. Um, so yeah, um, I ate 
My dad made me um, pork chops with mac and cheese and my sister brought me, um, or my sister and her husband brought me, um, they brought me baked ziti with rice and beans. Um, I still can't really smell anything. My dad also made me like a milkshake with like papaya, papaya, papaya something. Um, I literally could not taste it and I'm not sure if I'm even going to get my smell back, which I hope, sure hope that I do. Um, but yeah, I did have an awesome Christmas day today and I am getting better and better as the days go by. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but, um, my mom was sick. Um, I got tested positive December 22nd. She was sick, like, December 9th. She had, like, chills. She had muscle aches. She was very, very thirsty that she even ended up in the hospital. Um, she ended up in the hospital dehydrated. They had to give her fluids she doesn't know for sure if she's positive of coronavirus but she does believe that she had it um the only reason why i got tested positive was because someone at my job um tested positive so when i had the symptoms i just thought it was a common cold so when i found out that my coworker, um the person that i work with um test the positive I was like yeah it's definitely time to get positive it de it's definitely time to get tested so I got tested and I came out positive so as as we were thinking we were thinking you know me being inside that me being inside home you know being around my mom like because you know I had muscle aches the very first day that I started symptoms I had very bad muscle aches literally Tylenol ibuprofen wouldn't help at all like literally the only thing that would help was I took a bath and trust me I never take a bath like I took a bath and I put Epsom salt like I just sprayed it in the bath like I just poured it in the bath and it was it was a very hot bath and that literally like was the cure to muscle aches literally um that helped me a lot um the pain was so bad literally from my neck all the way down like the muscle aches was just bad and i i could literally remember it how bad it was but yeah, you guys, I am doing better as the days go by. And I just wish everyone out there who's going through this tough time as well that they do get better. Um, and I'm praying that 2021 does end up better. Um, so yeah, I will be back. I will be back tomorrow morning. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep doing more and more clips. Um, I haven't put it out to social media that I do have um, coronavirus. I am positive of coronavirus, but I did say that to pray for me. So um, I'm gonna be posting this video very, very soon. So yes, you guys, please hit that subscribe button i do do other videos just to keep you guys posted hi everyone and welcome back to my channel um it's been two three four five yeah it's been four days since i took my test and it came up positive i am doing fantastic um my throat obviously is a little <clears throat> A little dry at times um, but I am drinking lots of water and um, I actually just got out the shower um, I've been having a lot of support from my family you know we've been um, we've been um, you know like on the Facebook chat thing where you have like all your family come in there so I've been feeling a lot better you know being stuck in this room I literally feel like I'm in jail but um, I honestly can say that I am feeling better. 
um i did take three days extra off because i'm supposed to go back to work on monday because they 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 say like after like the way my job works out is that literally after 10 days after you have your symptoms you're allowed to come back to work but me i felt the need to take an, an additional three days off because i do need to recuperate because this was a how like this was like crazy like i literally had all those muscle aches the very first day the very first day which was monday the i think it was the 14th or 15th literally had muscle aches like crazy literally literally i had muscle aches like so bad literally took tylenol ibuprofen and like it didn't work like ibuprofen worked for me like sort of but literally nothing i felt like nothing worked um my my smell is coming back a little bit um my dad still is in the other room. He's he's locked up in there in his room. I literally feel like we're like jail jail partners, like jail jail. So, like I literally feel like I'm in a jail. Like once I'm out in the world, I'm gonna be so happy because I'm just gonna be like, oh my god, like I'm gonna be so happy. But yeah, it's so sad. It really is so sad. Like thinking about it, like. You know, I don't want to get too emotional because, you know, I don't I don't even know if my mom had it because she was very, very sick first. She was sick first and then I got sick a week after. So she got sick like the ninth and then I started to get sick the Monday after that. So like I think the 14th, 15th or something. And it's just really, really sad to to know that you know that i had it and that i survived it because you know there is a lot of people you know 20 in their 20s which i'm 23 that are dying and it's just it's just really really crazy um the most ironic thing is that my sister literally got her COVID 19 vaccine today so it's like my mom she's got a daughter that tested positive for coronavirus and then she got a daughter that got the vaccine so it's like what the heck so um she does have to take her um her second dose of the vaccine which was moderna she has to take it in january so i believe like a month after 28 days after you took your first one you're supposed to take the second one so that's that um but yeah, you guys, I'm doing so much better. It's just, you know, it's just in my conscience to know that the very first week that I had the symptoms, it just really, it just really bothers me to know that I could have got someone else infected or, you know, someone else. But I'm not going to think about that too much because, you know, it is a, a, a virus that is out there and, you know, a lot of people are catching it. So there's nothing really I could do about it. I mean, all you got to do is just have faith. Like I said, um, just pray to God and just believe in God and just know that he's going to cover you and he's going to protect you. Like it does say in the Bible, you know, whenever he throws a pandemic to just have faith in him. Um, so, I mean, that that is basically it. Um, if you guys do have any questions or if you guys did um, survive the COVID-19, if you guys ended up in the hospital, whatever the case may be, whatever story you guys have as well, you can also leave it down in the comments. Or if you do personally know me, you can also DM me and message me um, how your story was because I like to know like how other how it affected other people. So that is very also um, very helpful as well. Um, one thing I also am going to say that, you know, if you do contract the, the coronavirus, one thing that did help me, which I'm going to say it again, I don't know if I said it before, was Epsom salt. When I had muscle aches, I literally, I never, never really, I never took a bath, but literally the coronavirus got me so like sore that I literally took like three baths, like literally like right after i got to work like i would literally go straight to the bathroom and tell mom like hey mom like i'm having muscle aches oh just take the epsom salt i grab the epsom salt pour like some in the in the hot water and then i'll lay there put my whole body in there and that's literally 
what helped me was Epsom salt for the muscle legs. Um, for the headaches, I didn't really start to get headaches. I started to get headaches like towards the end, like now. Um, but Tylenol is starting to help me now as I'm starting to take it. Um, for the cough, I, I didn't really do much for the cough because that started to start like towards the end of my symptoms. So, excuse me, um, I, I did drink a lot of water. This is literally what helped me. Um, and basically just a lot of rest. I slept a lot. Um, I know I, tr I tried to eat, you know, a lot of foods. Because they say that when you have the COVID, um, you're supposed to keep yourself like, like eat a well-balanced like food, you know. So, yeah, so that was basically it um of my journey um i hope you know everyone out there stays safe it's just really really sad to know that i was like literally the most cleanest person like i would wash my hands you know i would put hand sanitizer like as soon as i was oh i would open like public doors get into my car literally automatically put hand sanitizer and it's just really really like sad to know like how you can be the most like healthiest person and um you could be the most cautious person like and you could still get the virus and it's just really really scary to know that you can get infected again that's the only thing if it was just you know you could catch it once and then not ever 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 get it again then you know it would be awesome but to know the fact that you can get the coronavirus again is just very very like scary um but yeah also another um symptom that i had was i was sweating a lot i was sweating so much i remember i think it was the first the first symptom that i had was my temperature was 100.2 i took a tylenol and it went down ever since that i did not have no fevers the only symptoms that i literally had was the muscle aches um the muscle aches, the chills, um, headaches towards the end, cough, and now my sense of smell is gone. I did have runny nose, stuffy nose. I took Sudafed. Um, I did take Sudafed for like the runny nose and stuffy nose, so that helped as well. Um, I did notice like whenever I would drive, like, you know, how you have to like lean over. I did notice like my chest was like a little bit tightness. So, um, so that was one thing that I was very concerned about. I did also notice that when I was at work, I'm not sure if it was from the stress or whatever the case may be, but I did catch myself like breathing, like, you know, like I literally would stand like, you know, aside and literally had to breathe like that. I'm not sure if it was the stress, like I said, um, but they do say you have shortness of breath i'm not sure if that's where it came from or what but i mean i am doing better and i'm supposed to go back to work either thursday or friday so yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this little documentary of mine and um i hope that you guys can stay strong and brave and don't be afraid and that's what the just the bible verse just came up it said don't be don't be be strong be brave don't be afraid you know just have um just have faith and pray to god you know god is always there for you he is the healer he's a protector um he will guard his angels over you um obviously you know i thought i would never get it but i did and I'm 23 years old and, you know, everyone's just getting it. So the only thing that I can say for everyone out there is obviously to just have faith. And this is a pandemic and, you know, it could be God's plan. Um, God's plan to, you know, bring this pandemic to us. You know, maybe he's, you know, out of all the stories he came in, in the like in the Bible, you know, Maybe he's just fed up and, you know, the days are coming and he's coming soon. And, you know, like I said, just have faith and just pray to God. Just believe, you know, um, that's all that I got to say.
so yeah you guys this is gonna be the end of it and i hope you guys enjoyed it um i will continue to do more videos for you guys i will um come back and you know keep you guys updated on how i feel you know i might do a couple of covid um covid videos here and there you know to just give you guys some courage and all that so yes you guys this is it this is it yes thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like share subscribe share 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 and please subscribe and click that bell to get notified whenever i post a new video thank you guys love y'all so much